This episode of Mid-Ohio Rock Show is brought to you by Larry's Music Center, Ohio's coolest indie music store, with locations in Worcester and Millersburg. So what are we supposed to be doing? Movie, movie. what movie? I'm not sure. Are you filming this? I am filming. I've been filming ever since you two went. Show. Yeah. Oh, it's on. He's so dreamy. He is. He's a rock star. Welcome to the Mid-Ohio Rock Show, everybody. I'm Tommy Barnes. We're at the Bisman Building, the Dead Soul Studio. Season number three is well underway. I've got a couple of really cool people here next to me. Joe Vitale Jr. and Kathy Vogel. Hello. Hello. It's great to be here. Time to thumb wrestle. Oh, yes. Go. <laughs> All right. All right. One, two, wait, three. Oh, wait. That's We're awesome. supposed to be talking about a movie that these two have been working on the last few months and hopefully coming to a theater near you. It's called Encryption. So Joe, real quickly, tell me a nutshell about it. Maybe we'll get to a video clip about the movie. Actually, the best person to tell you about that would actually be Kathy. Kathy, go ahead and pass oh, it off like to the next person in line. It's actually Joe's idea around Christmas last year. He said, have you been, do you know about the Illuminati? You know, there's those theories, conspiracy theories out there about controlling Hollywood, controlling music business with these people in power. And I said, yeah, I've heard about it. I mean, you can, you can buy into it. You can see how it could be believable. The Masons, those kind of groups. And he said, I've been watching these videos online for the past two hours because it's amazing and it would make for a good movie. And I said, yeah, there's, you know, the elements of danger, uh, there, the music industry, Hollywood, yeah, I'd make a great movie. He said, seriously, no, it would make a great movie. I said, okay. It's like, I want to make this into a, a short film. What do you think? I said, okay. And besides doing radio, I'm a script writer too. And I said, okay, let's collaborate. And so we started fleshing out the basic idea of the story. And then I wrote the script for it. So. Sounds pretty neat. Why don't we check out a trailer of Encryption here on the Mid-Ohio Rock Show. It's finally happened. The deal. Good. We got the meeting tomorrow morning with the label. They're highly motivated. Your time is now, James. Yes, it is. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I don't think it's right for us. You'll see the light. He had this control over Mark. You gotta stop reading those conspiracy theory books. There's only one way out of this contract. Are you threatening me? We're done here. The contract has expired. We have to tell the police. What are you going to tell them? They've been pulling people everywhere. Phase two, the transmission is ready. Watch out. Don't trust anybody. Hey, welcome back to the Mid-Ohio Rock Show, everybody. I'm Tommy Barnes. A real pleasure to have you with us for season number three. We've got Joe Vitale Jr., who's sitting very tall. Yes. I like your posture. <laughs> it's, it's looking quite good. I'm slouching here. I feel like I need to get taller. Kathy Vogel also joining us. Kathy is a radio personality, long time in the Akron Canton area. And I guess real quickly, qualify yourself right now. What I am? Oh, yes, no, that's kind of scary. Um, I do radio, uh, morning show on Mix 94.1 in Canton. But mm -hmm. like you said, I've been radioed everywhere throughout Northeast Ohio over the years. Yeah, it's a pretty cool job though, isn't it? Lots it's of fun. fun. I mean, there are worse jobs to have than getting paid to talk. We so. could be Mike Rowe. That yeah, would be that really would be bad. Yeah, we, we don't, don't want, want to that. go there. <laughs> 
Joe, yourself, uh, obviously uh, your father, I think a lot of people that have grown up with rock and roll know his work with it's so true. many great artists. It's very true. It's, it's been just a, a great history lesson and a life lesson for you all these years to get to where you are today. It, yeah, and it, funny, my parents never ever, you know, they never said, you're going to go into music. They're like, do whatever you want. And up till I was about 10, I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer and go into be an astronaut like so many other kids. But then my dad brought me out on stage uh, at Blossom Music Center when he was playing with Project Stills and Nash to play tambourine on um, Teach Your Children. And when you have 19,000 screaming people out, and like, oh, this is way more fun than math. <laughs> but math is good, stay in school. Um, but anyway, uh, so I started getting into music and so forth, and sort of drums is my primary instrument, but in my band I play guitar. But uh, it, it's, it's kind of, you know, growing up in the row, was, it was weird, because everyone's like, oh, it must have been great growing up with all these different stars. And you actually get used to more or less, it's like, they're just, you know, regular people, so it's just, you know, it's like your dad goes to the office like, you know, anything else, except he's gone right. for like six weeks at a time. Yeah. You know? Well, the tambourine was a dangerous instrument because it's the one instrument that will stand out if you don't play it properly. And I was scared to death about that, too. I was so afraid that I was going to mess up the whole band and everything was going to collapse, and I'm like, I don't think I was mic'd. You know, it's like, it was one of those <laughs> things where I, it just kind of messed me up, but I, I loved every second of it. It was great. You know, you've got a, a background as an audio engineer. I'm fortunate to have two sons that are both musicians, and I had one son actually go to the recording workshop down south of Chillicothe. Spent a few months down there. That's great. Talk about your background with that and how that led you to doing movie roles and videos and things of that nature. Well, back in '96, uh, I got like my first actual like you know Windows-based computer and stuff like that. And uh, cause by that time, you know, Windows 95 was still kind of a new, exciting thing. And got a copy of uh, what was called then. Uh, Sonic Foundry Soundforge and started messing around, you know, playing with digital audio and, and my parents had gotten me a little multi-track recorder when I was growing up and I started messing with that and over the years developed some skills to do digital editing. And then I got an opportunity to start uh, doing loop libraries for Sony for their Acid series of uh, software and then that led into working for Stephen Stills doing uh, three of his records as the uh, principal um, digital audio engineer and pre-mastering engineer on some of those. So. Well, having spent time growing up with with Stephen, you know, gave him and you uh, right. and the band a really great comfort level too. Absolutely, yeah. And it was it was a wonderful time. I really had a great time working on that because if you're sitting there working on some of the material that had never been released, and it was really neat to be able to sit there and like listen to stuff from 40 years ago and like I'm editing this. Like some of the stuff I got to edit was never released Jimi Hendrix material playing with Stephen Stills and being able to solo Hendrix. It's like you sit there like every note's perfect. It, it, it's amazing. It's, it seriously was like, it's just awe. I mentioned the recording workshop in Chillicothe, and you just mentioned Hendrix, and actually one of the studios they have there is right, it's an exact duplicate of Jimi Hendrix's studio. Oh, nice. It is really, really cool. We're talking with uh, Joe Vitale Jr. and Kathy Vogel about a brand new movie these guys are working on called Encryption. And uh, if you would, Kathy wrote the script. A little more detail about the movie. Well, uh, Kathy wrote the script, and she also did all the casting for it, and she did an absolutely wonderful job. Everyone in the film does a fabulous job. In it. And then I, I direct it, as well as act in it, edit it, and <laughs> score it. <laughs> Multiple hats, you know how that yeah. works oh, when yeah, you're absolutely. doing a short film. On and a budget. <laughs> on a budget, a small budget, everybody just kind of does what they need to do, well, like script supervisor him. and wardrobe. And I think I can see him coming up here in the next few months in a brown suit and a brown truck delivering <laughs> it all over the country. Oh, it'd be fine. It's not, it's not even like a shoestring budget, it's more just a string budget. It's like, forget the shoe. But like no, that, but that G letter of the alphabet kind of string? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes, every dollar was appropriated. We did a Kickstarter campaign, mm -hmm. and all the money went to the equipment because we wanted to have the best that we could get. Right. You know, we wanted to do it properly. We just didn't want to be someone that... Oh, we did a movie. We wanted right. it to be done properly with the lighting and picking out the actors. And some had never acted before, but you could see their talent mm -hmm. to the equipment, everything. You know, we had it scripted out, ready to go. Everyone had their jobs to do. And it was a great experience. Well, as you and I have found on the radio, constructive criticism, you have to be able to take it. Oh, yeah. Pretty thick skin. You, need that, you need to. And it's yeah. nothing personal. You know, right. if you don't like something, you don't like it, you tell them. Mm -hmm. You take it over and over again until you get the shot that you want. You have to. Once again, we're visiting with Joe Vitale Jr. and Kathy Vogel, a new movie uh, coming out, a very short movie at that, and it's called Encryption. And Kathy, you tell me there's actually two versions there's of this, right? There's two versions. Mm -hmm. uh, the first film festival we're entering into is the Canton Film Festival, and they have a 15-minute time limit, and that is it. 
and our version runs what 22 minutes about that, 22 yeah. to 23 minutes with the credits and everything so it was a challenge because when I wrote the script I was totally about the efficiency of the words I knew it had to be tight we didn't have time to linger so it was then I said you take care of editing but don't edit my dialogue you know you feel as a writer you're like those are my right. words that's my baby try not to edit that because every word and all the lines adds to the plot so it wasn't like there was anything to throw away from there so I said cut down your chase scene Tell like me, I had to. <laughs> Tell us about the plot itself. The plot's basically about James, which Joe plays the lead character. Ace. Nice to meet you, James. Oh, James, James Joe, whatever you want to call him. Right. But he's a struggling musician, uh, talented, been looking for that break like a lot of musicians mm -hmm. are. Well, then his agent calls him and says he has the big break from this record company that's really interested. But when James goes in, he's got that deal that may seem too good to be true. And there may be something a little bit suspect about the record company and what are they involved in and is there some kind of subplot that they're trying to execute through James and his music. I feel like right at this moment we, we need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is there mind control? And, and basically the concept of the movie just came out of conversations too. So, do you believe that in advertisements there are subliminal messages, the music you listen to? Big Mac. Exactly. <laughs> and so what if that's happening through music? And Bye. so we kind of touch on that in encryption. Why? Exactly. Yes, sir. Love me. See, there you go. <laughs> I love you. Joe set us up with a uh, clip of the, of the movie. Well, what we did was, um, inside of the actual film itself, I use uh, my actual music videos from my own work. So what we did was, uh, there's a Rise to Fame section that's, gonna, that's in there, as well as a couple other moments when they're watching different videos. And the one we're going to use right now is called Fight It or Self Destruct. And we shot this last year, and it uh, looks great. It's the full band. My, it's my actual personal band, so it's, it's great to see everybody up there. And you're checking it out right now on the Mid-Ohio Rock Show.
Welcome back to the Mid-Ohio Rock Show, folks. I'm Tommy Barnes. Our guests today are Kathy Vogel and Joe Vitale, Jr. We're going to wrap up today's episode. We've been talking about a lot of things, including the movie Encryption. Kathy, it's going to be at the Canton Film Festival real soon here, yes. but where can folks maybe check this out if they can't get to Canton? Well, you can check out the trailer for sure on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash encryption film. Ding! Uh, we have an encryption film website that will eventually get up and going, too. But, yeah, we'll have it on our Facebook pages, too, because we're yeah. a little bit proud about it. Yeah. Hey, another thing I wanted to mention, too, while we're talking, that Kathy has a really cool website, another business called House of V. House of V, uh -huh. the German word for house, so it's H-A-U-S of V.com. And it's just Ding. a place because not only do I do the radio stuff, I do freelance work, too, the writing, write commercials, write scripts, those kind of things. So it's just a place for people to go and check out in case they want to use me as a, a talent for video or voiceover work or whatever. Just my, It's my other identity, too. Hey, this uh, next section of the Mid-Ohio Rock Show is for children under the ages of six years old. Uh, Kathy, <laughs> tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> there, I, I never heard of this until I looked it up today yes. before we met. Ask Gilby. Ask Gilby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a children's show uh, that was started at WAPS, the Akron Public School System, and it's a show to help preschool kids get ready for school, so we teach numbers and colors, and I play Miss Kathy, a firefighter who has a dog named Gilby who goes out and answers the kids' questions. Whatever questions they have, he goes and finds the answer. So it's, it's a fun show. It kind of happened. I was at a New Year's Eve party a number of years ago, and a friend of mine's friend's husband knew my radio work and thought it would be good on TV, and I said, that'd be great. I'd love to have the opportunity. He said, I want you to host a kid's show. I said, you know me. Me and a kid's show, he said, yeah, you'd be perfect for it. And so that's just kind of how it happened. Hanging out at a New Year's Eve party. That's usually how, you know, how these things Networking, work. yeah. Networking, yeah. Exactly. So it, it's been great ever since. It's been a blast to work with the kids and do something that's really productive and something that's helpful to them. It's a massive dog, too. It's like <laughs> Yes, it's a costume character and the mouth moves and there's talking. And I feel so bad for the person inside the costume because it's not comfortable to be a big giant Dalmatian. I can imagine. It yeah. loves to run, right? Yes, runs everywhere. Poor, poor guy. <laughs> He's got the hard part. Joe Vitale Jr., by the way, an incredible musician. Uh, if uh, We've had actually filmed an episode of the Mid-Ohio Rock Show with part of his band. Uh, talk about the musical side of what you like to do. The stuff, I, I have one of those things where I never can stay um, in one style. I write a whole bunch of different stuff. So it's one day it'll be Latin stuff, the other day it'll be like heavy industrial. The most of the stuff I do is kind of a heavier rock stuff. Uh, you can check out a lot of the clips at uh, JoeVitaleJr.com. Ding! J-R, not spelled out. But... Um, I, I, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of classic rock because of my dad and so forth, so I'm mainly influenced from that. But then other groups like you know, Nine Inch Nails and stuff, the electronic side of things always was really fascinating to me. So I kind of incorporate a little bit of electronic stuff into what I do as well. Facebook page, website, oh, yeah. all that junk? You go to Facebook, you just look up uh, Joe Vitale Jr. Official, as well as uh, you go to JoeVitaleJr.com. Also on YouTube, Twitter, pretty much everywhere you can on the net you can look up right now, it's there. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out and hanging Thank out you. with us for the Mid Ohio Rock Show. I'm Tommy Barnes, Joe Vitale Jr., Kathy Vogel. We say goodbye in our best Miss Ohio okay. way we can do. See you folks next time.
Show's over. Take me home. Ding! The uh, winning. <laughs> This episode of Mid-Ohio Rock Show is brought to you by Larry's Music Center, Ohio's coolest indie music store, with locations in Worcester and Millersburg. Now, thumb wrestle! What? You can't lose. You know. I know. Like, 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 thumb, thumb wrestle twister. Get some of that! Come on, bitch! Come on! Oh. <laughs> but he's yes. got pretty hair! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>